All right, 5.5 uh, is graphs of sine and cosine functions. Um, we've got, okay, so we're graphing y equals sine x and y equals cosine x in this section. Um, and we'll get to cosine x later uh, in the next lesson, next video. Um, but just looking at y equals sine x, uh, there's a general equation looks like this. Um, so we got a whole bunch of letters going on right here. This A uh, out front represents a couple things. It's the amplitude. So amplitude, um, if you look at this is y equals sine x, the amplitude is how far it goes um, from the midline up. So this is my midline, horizontal midline. This amplitude is one. Uh, notice that if you go from the very bottom or the very top, that's two, but the amplitude would only be half of that because it's going from the midline up. So A is the amplitude out front. A also tells us if it goes up, down, and up again. So this would be one period of y equals sine x. That's kind of the general shape of that. Um, you start at the locator point, you go up, all the way down, and then back up to where you started as far as the y value goes. Uh, if A is negative, that means we start going downward to the very valley, all the way up to the peak, and then back to the midline again. So if A is positive, we start by going up. If it's negative, it starts by going down. So that's A out front. Um, the B has to do with the period. Um, and it's always 2 pi over b for sine and cosine. So whatever that number is, you do 2 pi divided by that number and you'll get the, the period. And the period is the amount of time it takes to complete a cycle. So like from right here, all the way right here, that's one period. We could have even started at the peak and you go from here to here. If you go add up the x-axis, that's also going to be 2 pi. This is 2 pi, no matter what it's 2 pi to complete a cycle, which is the period. Um, locator point is h comma k, much like our parabolas and cubics, absolute values, all those different um, types of functions. h comma k, notice it's x minus h inside the parentheses. And then something I call an up by. Up by tells you what you go up by on the x-axis, and you always take the period and divide by 4. So my up by for this one, um, we're going up by, that's one half pi, that's one pi, one and a half pi, two pi. So it's pi over two. We're going up by pi over two every time. And this is the general shape of y equals sine x. So just changing a little bit, transformation. The only thing in this first example is putting a three out front. So that just makes the amplitude three. So I'll start right at my h comma zero or h comma k, which is at zero zero. In this case, my amplitude is three, so I'm going to draw the same shape, meaning we still go up by pi over two. If I did one period of this, I would go all the way up here, down all the way down in here. So these are the five points that I'll be looking for when I'm grading this. Okay, five points in order to complete one period here. So we can connect them and that's what it looks like. It's gonna go on forever to the right and forever to the left. That's why I call it, it's called a periodic function. It just keeps on going and going and going. Um, goes on forever. Okay, so this has an amplitude of three, and that's how it's different from y equals sine x. So y equals sine x just goes up to one. This one goes up to three. Okay, if there's a negative out front, negative two sine x, that's just going to, it still has an amplitude of two, but if I was looking at it and writing out what the amplitude is, I would say two, but I'd put a negative out front just to, remind me that it is going to start by going down. The amplitude is still two, but it's a negative out front. So I'm still going up by the same amount and things will change here in the next problem or two. 
um, as far as that goes but I'm just taking one step at a time so my locator is still at zero zero amplitude is two but we're going down this time here are my five points that I'd be looking for so if your curve is like I mean as long as you have those five points um, you'll get all credit those are the points that I'm looking for try to make it a little smoother than that all right so a little more complicated of an example I'm actually gonna write out the four things that we need uh, remember amplitude period locator and up by here so my amplitude um, period locator and up by so my amplitude is 2 my period uh, remember it's 2 pi over B B is right here there is no number there so our B in this example is just 1 so it's 2 pi over 1 so our period is still 2 pi which is the same as the previous three examples 2 pi for a period my locator remember it's negative H and so it's negative pi comma 1 would be my locator and my period would be or I'm sorry my up by would be the period divided by 4 or pi over 2 same up by um, as the previous examples because the period is the same all right, so my locator is negative pi zero or negative pi one, so I'm gonna call, call that negative pi. I'm gonna go up by pi over two. So if I add pi over two to negative pi, that's negative pi over two. Plus another pi over two is zero. Plus another pi over two is pi over two. Plus another, and so on. So a lot of times I'll ask you to complete two periods. Um, there's one period I'd have to go little further 5 pi over 2 and then so if you think of it as 1 half 1 1 and a half 2 2 and a half 3 3 and a half would be 7 pi over 2 and so on let's see that's enough for two periods my amplitude is 2 but I'm going to start at 1 so I have to go up 2 beyond there and down 2 all right so we're set to draw our curve we'll start with our locator point a negative pi comma one so that's my locator and it's a positive a so we're going to go up one amplitude to the next point down one amplitude down one amplitude, back up to midline again, go up again. All right, so we have all of our points and we can draw our curve. And there we have it. Okay, so with these, write those down on a test or a quiz. I'll be looking for this information. You could get quite a bit of the points uh, toward the standard of this just by listing those out. Um, depending on the difficulty of what our up by is or what our period is, this might be like labeling the axes might be part of the toughest, toughest part of the problem because we're going to end up with fractions, you're going to go up by pi over 8, things like that. All right, well, I will continue. Normally I would ask for questions, but I recorded my lesson yesterday and it didn't work to upload it, so I'm going solo on this, so not a whole lot of dialogue with my students today. Uh, last example for this video. Um, remember we've got amplitude, we got period, we got locator, and up by. Normally I would take some time here to let you try to find these four things um, and if you're watching this video maybe you want to try just pause it see if you can come up with these um, but I'm going to continue so the amplitude is 3 but I'm going to put a negative as a reminder that we're going to go down first 
uh, the period, this actually has a b other than 1. So our period is 2 pi over b, which is 2. So our period in this problem is going to be pi. My locator is pi over 2 comma 0. And my up by is the period divided by 4. So we're going to go up by pi over 4 in this problem. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to start at pi over 2 and go to the right. So I don't need... I don't need a lot of the left side here. I'm going to start at pi over 2 and go to the right. So I wouldn't draw, you know, across right. I guess it doesn't matter. You could do half of it on the left side, half on the right side. So you'll figure th that type of thing out as you do more of these. Um, so I'm going to start at pi over 2. We're going up by pi over 4. So if that's pi over 2, maybe I'll go backwards one. So backwards one period. So if I start at pi over two, go backwards pi over four, that's pi over four at zero, backwards another it's negative pi over four, backwards another it's negative pi over two. So that's enough for the four quadrants going backwards. Going forward with it, remember this is one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, or three pi over four. 4 fourths, which is pi, 5 fourths, 5 pi over 4, 6 fourths, which is 3 pi over 2, 7 fourths, so 7 pi over 4, Let's see, 1, 2, we did more than enough there, more than enough. Okay, my amplitude is 3, so I need at least 3 going up and down. Alright, so time to draw our sketch. Our locator point is pi over 2 comma 0. Here's my locator point. I'll make it a special color right there. Um, okay, so we're going down, and we're going one, down one amplitude, so we're going to go down 3. That'll put us right here. Up 3. Up, down, down, and I just can keep going backwards. So that's one, two, and a little extra, two periods, and plus a little extra. So that would be the graph sketch of that function right there.